Hello, and welcome back. So I have an idea. I have all this extra PTFE tubing. I wanted to try something. I wanted to see if I could get some multicolored prints by putting pieces of filament into one long tube. But I'll need a coupler because I want to use both of these. So let's jump over to Tinkercad and see if I can design something real quick. Okay, so the coupler came out pretty good. I've kind of haphazardly thrown this together here. Uh, maybe you're getting a better idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to replace this Bowden tube with this. Then I've got all these right here, all these pieces of filament that I just didn't want them to go to waste. And I'm going to chop those into about two inch pieces and stuff them inside this tube and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got this part of the Bowden tube connected to the hot end. And I've got this coupler on that's going to go to the extruder. And then I've got all of this right here. And like I said, I'm going to cut these to about two inches and stuff them in there. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's try it. All right, now let's just stuff them in here one by one until we fill the tube. Once it starts coming out the hot end, we'll know that we filled the tube. Okay, so this looks promising. However, I had to drop down to one PTFE tube. Having both of these, even with the coupler, is way too long. Uh, the extruder was jamming because I just couldn't push all these pieces through in like a train. So I didn't get as much filament in there as I wanted to. So I'm going to back this roll of filament out a little bit because I know there's still some space in there. And I'm going to throw in a couple more pieces of this loose filament. So I'm going to jump right into the time lapse and uh, hopefully it worked. Wish me luck. Okay, spoiler alert. This didn't work. I'm not entirely sure what the problem was. It seems like it would work. I mean, I've done this before kind of by accident where like the filament would break off in the tube and then I would just stick another piece of filament in right behind it and push it all the way through. And I, I didn't have a problem. I'm assuming that because some of my rolls of filament are older than others, some are maybe dried out a little more, or some are maybe a little more wet, that that's a big reason why this didn't work. As you'll see at the end here, it's pretty uh, brittle. Like, it's not like it, it would have been if it was just one continuous piece of filament. she goes she's just printing in thin air now I do think this would still work but what I would do next time instead is longer pieces of filament instead of cutting in the two inches I probably could have left them the same length and it, and it might have been better and they probably would have gone through the tubes easier in the first place and I probably could have used both tubes yeah just just look at it it's it's not good Anyway, I appreciate you tuning in, and uh, thanks for watching my failure. Maybe I'll try this again in the future. Maybe not. I don't know. 
Anyway, appreciate you tuning in. And as always, have the best day ever. <laughs>